welcome to the session where i will discuss uh, one of the most interesting part of dialogues uh, here i will discuss how to use query dynamics 365 data state while developing dialogues okay so here the most fundamental thing is dynamics query dynamics 365 data is nothing but a step uh, that we can use while designing workflows or dialogues so using this step uh, query dynamics 365 data we can fetch any type of uh, available system data or custom data that we want to use uh, in our dialogue sessions we can present the written result in a prompt control like pick list of the pick list or two option sets so that user can view the data that is retrieved from the database and that that, that can be selected from that uh, pick list almost all records can be fetched using conditions and the conditions can be dynamic using variables like if you want if you want to select opportunities for a specific customer then you have to build the condition on giving the uh, you know filter variable uh, as dynamic value that has been that can be assigned from a format system uh, so the next thing is it can be result uh, return result from query dynamics 365 data can be presented in a formatted way like if you want to retrieve product name and product types then you can uh, so you can present the records in a formatted way like product name hyphen product type uh, which will be viewed in option sets in the control so it supports all the functionality like advanced find functionality that we have dynamics 365 system provides and uh, so the return types always uh, can be bind with uh, option sets of type pick list and two option sets now so uh, let's jump to the practical scenario uh, and we'll try to create a dialogue using this dynamics 365 data query so we'll have a scenario like we will create a dialogue which will run against customer record and will prompt the user to select a product of type tablet uh, from the dynamics 365 system and as per custom confirmation the user has to select the product and create an opportunity uh, with the product information for the customer so let's jump to the dynamics 365 system and uh, move on to the uh, sorry move on to the settings area where we will find the customization section in this customization we will have an option out there called as customize the system just click this customize the system and once you click this as soon as you click this a a window a window will open uh, where this is the default solution and in this default solution we'll have a option uh, of components of the solution like entities web resources processes security roles and uh, many more things are there uh, like you know uh, assemblies uh, and tls so here we will choose option college processes in this because workflows and dialogues are nothing but the processes of dynamics 365 so click the process and add new click click add new option to create the dialogue now this is the new option click new now it will prompt you to give a name suppose give a process name called as create opportunity from customer with product and you have to choose the category as dialogue because this session is dedicated for dialogue change the entity as contact now click ok once you press ok the dialogue designer form will be opened once this form will be opened you can add steps according to your need 
Now, is this session dedicated for query Dynamics 365 data? So, first of all, select this row and add step. And you will find a step called as Query Dynamics 365 data. Now, select this and give a description here query product data set properties click set properties here we will define the query that we want to use in our dialog now once you set pro click set properties then another window will open here we will build the query as we want to build the query as to select products of type tablet so look for change the look for to point to the entity product down to select the product entity so this is the product and we have we should i should have a filter called as name name contains tablet because i want to retrieve all you know um, all products whose name contains tablet now if once you design this you can go to modify query variables and you can also give your dynamic variable here as I don't want to give dynamic variable right now, so I have just given its tablet its constant for the variable one. Otherwise, I can also assign the variable from form assistant from right side and I can assign this here. Like I can put this for the time being and I can assign uh, suppose contact first name. I can add here, I can assign here. So this is dynamically I can assign, but my requirement is not like this. So uh, I will roll back to my tablet uh, value. Now I will save and close. Now once I will save, save and close, now my query product data step will contain all the results uh, that is a part of the query. Now next thing is I will add a page. This is page one, let's say and add a stay college prompt and response here capture the response go to set properties and in set properties we'll have to give the prompt text please select a product and in response type let's say the response type control value option set pick list now in the below section you will find two values define values or query dynamics 365 data now if you click this query dynamics 365 data all the variables of type dynamics 365 data query will be available here now as we have only one query variable so the drop down uh, contains the variable now in the right side you will find all the columns that we are retrieving now I just want to uh, show name and product ID with separated by hyphen so this is the separated option which will be used to represent uh, in the option set list um, with uh, the columns by separation now once I, I have done this now I will save and close okay now i will add another step to create the opportunity now create record and let's say create opportunity record now select the entity called opportunity and set properties here i will assign the uh, result of the previous prompt and response now give the topic name is so select the local variable capture the response product here we'll find all the columns that we are retrieving now from here we will take the name and add here and point to the topic and press press ok so give a name like opportunity for product base for the customer and select the name 
select here and select the contact entity and select the full name what will happen when the opportunity will be created now the topic will be like this uh, the topic uh, text will be opportunity for the product name and for the customer with customer name now the next thing we have to assign is potential customer because two fields are monitored here click here and give the contact id uh, as a primary uh, customer or potential customer now seven crores now once you you seven crores uh, uh, the dialogue is ready to run now save and activate it will power it will prompt you to confirm of the activation now it is activated uh, close this window now go to close this uh, window also now we will check the dialogue in action now go to the sales section sales area and go to the contacts so in this contact view open any contact you want to create an opportunity using that dialogue now suppose i have a customer called as alex is fine just open this customer so once you open the customer you will find a way to start the dialogue uh, through command bar so we have the option called it start dialogue So it's loading the data. So this is the customer we have, and I want to run that dialogue against this customer. So this is the option start dialogue. Click this start dialogue. In this start dialogue, we will find the dialogues which are registered against this customer record, customer entity, and all are activated state. So this is the, the dialogue that we have just created and we just want to select this and click add to run this dialog now the dialog runs now so this is the dialog window here you will find a pick list saying the some of the product items here as i have told you the fetch xml is pointing to the product entity with some filter called as the name content target so this dialog represents the dialog Prompt control represents some of the products whose name contains its tablet. So user can select any of the product as per the customer response and click next to go to the uh, next stage and finish this dialogue. Now what will happen if you go to the recent opportunity section and try to refresh it or you can go to associated view of the opportunity you will find a new opportunity that is been created for this customer so this is the customer this is the opportunity that has been created if you open this then the opportunity will be open and we can see the topic has been uh, created with our formatted text that we have assigned in our form design in our dialogue design so here check the topic the topic says opportunity for brushware tablet m300 for the customer alexis fry so this is how we can use that uh, you know uh, dynamics query dynamics 365 data step in dialogues and so also in workflows thank you guys thank you for watching this tutorial hope this uh, this helped some way and uh, I hope uh, in my next uh, tutorial I will come up with some more interesting uh, topics and I'm planning to you know uh, uh, give some tutorials on product catalog in next in next sessions so um, be with us and uh, please subscribe the channel also and so this is the 
um, this is the site that I have uh, you know uh, uh, designed here I have all the tutorials related, related to technical stops or functional stops or whatever that are related to Dynamics 365 so you can check out this and comment if you want to comment anything or any suggestions you want to give so thank you see you later